What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be going over the differences between the three factory bumpers that the SC300, 400, and Toyota Sora came with. Hopefully, this will make help you make an educated decision on which one you wanna go with, um, with, you know, the different looks and all that good stuff. Stay tuned. For starters, we have the 92 to 94 front right here, uh, season one, as you guys wanna call it. Let's take a look at it. This is the iconic front that you'll see on most Toyota Soar or Lexus SC300 toys uh, from die cast all the way up to Hot Wheels or anything like that. One thing that's very iconic about it is just this shape right here. Not very aggressive, very subtle. As you can see, this doesn't even connect right here. It's not even flush like the newer 95 to 96 would be. Coming on over to the side, we do have what's called cornering lights here. You cannot fit the 1995 um, fog lights in here. These are uh, very shallow compared to the deeper feel of that. Crash bar on the 95 and 96 is the same from the inside. Oops, I don't have it on here, but basically the styrofoam bar that goes right here. One thing that stands out as well with the 92 to 94 is the cross right here. A lot of people like to cut it out, give it a more aggressive look. So next, We'll step over to the 95 to 96. So right here, we have our 95 to 96 front bumper. It is going to be different from the 92 to 94, starting with this area right here. It comes more into a connected curve. This front looks way more aggressive with a front lip, especially a wide lip without dips than a regular 92 to 94. On top of that, you have your grill insert right here. This is uh, one of the other changes they did. It's all just straight bars across. It has a nice uh, feel to it along with the straight bars here. As you can see, this body line on here where the kind of little duct vent is right here goes across the fog light now. This is an H3 fog light, just like your 97 and newer, but you cannot use the same grommet, which is the rubber piece in the back that plugs into the 97. It's a different size, so remember that, but the plug-in will be the same. The overall bump between 92 to 94, I think it's like a 16 and three quarters. And then you have like your, um, you have your front lip, which is about three inches as well. So overall you get about like 19 inches somewhere around there. Uh, it's like two and three quarters somewhere around there, I think it is. So you get uh, 19 inches with your 97 plus. So give me one second. Let me get the 92 front just so we can see the main difference, which is right here. And like I said, if you can see right here, the 92 to 96 fronts, they kind of got like that buck tooth look right here. What I mean by that is this extra piece coming down right here. Where is it? Yeah, this flap coming down right here on both sides where the front lip attaches. Funny story is the LC500 has that same kind of design where it's shallower here and deeper there on the outsides. So take a look again. We'll compare the bottom part where the grill is, the center piece down here versus this, the cross. So pro tip, gym number one that I'm gonna put you guys on real quick, just so you can see what I'm talking about is this is like a 2016 Highlander front lip. And as we can see here, it's kind of got the slotted bars that I like. So it doesn't directly bolt on, it doesn't fit. I'm pretty sure you can find a way to trim around or even use this as a template because the shape is similar. Just the connecting points are a little bit different to where if you were to use something like this instead of your super lip on the 92 to 94 and cut out that crossbar man it would look really sick so that's gem number one for you guys so don't feel you know scared to try anything and last but not least we have the oem 97 to 2000 front bumper this one is favored by a lot of people not my style yours i respect it go ahead and run it um there are for starters, front lip in comparison to that, there's a big wind type one and type two. You guys might know it as Fujin lip. Um, the front lip here, you have to extend it. Um, for starters, this is a little bit wider to fit the grill. You can kind of see how it kind of, I don't know, the way Lexus made this car, like they stretched it out here and there to where you can't tell the difference, but proportion wise, you can see you got a little bit more flat area here versus the 92 to 90 six front end right here just this area right here which i really like that the vertex carries too 
Um, on top of that, most body kits I have survived these days are based off the 97 plus, um, unless it's an inspection front end, unless it's a uh, air runner front end, or even a elite enterprise that I have uh, as well. Those are all based off of the uh, 92 to 96 format, which is gonna be that style, but 20 inches tall, just like Vertex. So speaking of height, this one is about 19. One thing I want to show you why it's about 19 and what's my 97 plus 97 plus is you'll have to take your 95 front bumper and let me show you real quick. So again, how I was talking about the buck teeth on the um, 92 to 95s, how they have this tucked in area right here. If you were to untuck that, that's why 97 plus has that more complete finished look, which I think a lot of people like, which I don't blame them at that point. It does look good. On top of that, the shape for the air dam up front. Oops. If you were to flip your 95 upside down, you can see it's damn near the same shape, how it comes up like a plateau right here. But it's a bit more aggressive on the 97 and wider. You have a grill insert here. You don't have a grill insert in your air dam right there anymore or anything. And then for your fog lights, they're rounder. I should have brought them out for you guys, but it connects the same way a 95 does. Basically, there's a screw up top right here and us on the, on the inside right here. So it's kind of like goes in when your fog light comes in, screw on top, screw on the inside. Other than that, everything else is almost the same, except for your crash bar. That's gonna be, again, since it's wider, it does not, you got one, you got your third insert right here, which the 95, the 96 does not have this. I don't think this, these three right here, I don't think they have, maybe mine have just broken over time. I think it just has like two, two thick ones here and then one. So this bar, crash bar right here, will not fit your 92 to 94. And that's pretty much it guys. Um, one more gem for you guys. Again, speaking about the whole on-tuck look that the 97 plus has. I know this is going to be sacrilegious to some of you dudes because you all worship this 97 stuff. But I'll drop a gem for you. Let me get my 95 front right here. Just because it's so darn cool. And show you. Now, don't ask why or how I have this. I don't know myself. Actually, I do. But if you get a 97 front you can make it a front lip. I mean, it would give it that complete look that you're looking for on the edge. This one isn't cut properly to go all the way around, but you would basically cut off the posts right here, leave this area right here to attach to it as if you would attach to a, um, attach a, let's say, big one type one or type two Fujin lip, which is a knockoff of the big one lip to um, the front right here because it would definitely fit and you can kind of make your own little uh, mounting points for this. And I think it will look pretty aggressive, kind of like a 96 and a half in a sense, I guess you could say, without the grill, if you don't want that, it would look pretty sick. So if anybody wants to take that up, again, just drop an idea for you guys to, you know, stop making these cars look like regular traffic. <laughs> it's getting to that point where we're going back to 2010, which isn't a bad thing per se, but if you guys want something different to look forward to, this is definitely it. And that's pretty much it. Short, simple. Hopefully you guys can make an educated decision on what front you want. Get brave about just experimenting with this car stuff, man. You got to treat it like science class at a certain point to where you're just curious and you try. Um, again, you know, asking questions is great, but taking action because at a certain point when you're doing something that nobody's done or you don't know what you're doing, it becomes more of a feeling of where things place. This is why I keep going on about the basics of these cars for you guys, because once you understand how they're made, how, what mounting points are there, what's what, you can then begin to alter it once you have that understanding. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. P.S. If you comment about this sweater, I got it online somewhere. Just look for SC300 ugly Christmas sweater. You might pop up. Thank you again and have a wonderful day.